there, this is Maria here from sharethestories.com.au, crafting soulful brands for women business. So I have a huge new to tell you. The first thing is I got my Australian citizenship two days ago and I seriously, I couldn't be happier. People who know me, they know that I just love this country and I'm very grateful for it. So I'm very happy today and the second thing is I'm going to teach you today how to use the sign up forms in MailChimp. I really hope you find this tutorial um, helpful and if you have any questions please just send me a text, you know, like just write on Facebook, whatever you need, I will be here to help you. Have a super lovely day and see you inside. Bye! Okay, so here we are in MailChimp and today I will teach you how to use the forms. So the first thing that you need to know is that MailChimp forms are used to drive people into your list. So it's an, an opt-in so people can leave their name and email address and you will have those details into your list. So for example, I have my opt-in that is a quiz and I drive everybody to take my quiz. So if you go to my website, this is where you take the quiz. So it's to discover your true brand style. And when you finish your quiz, you will have your result. And underneath you have a link to download the style guide. So for example, I have it here, these four, so you can download each of them separately without taking the quiz. So if you click, for example, in the sophisticated, so you will have this form, yep. And when you add your email address, first name and last name, you will receive this email. Please confirm, uh, confirm your subscription and you just need to click in yes, subscribe me to this list. And because I'm doing advertising with uh, Facebook, so I need to have um, like a thank you page. So my Facebook uh, advertising count how many people have subscribed. So, and uh, I have created this page, it's very simple. So people get to here and then go back to their email and they will receive the last email. Okay, so the last email is this one. And uh, it says the sophisticated, you can download your guide in the bottom below in here. You can have a look at my portfolio and if you have you want to have like a 20 minutes consultation with me, you just need to fill in this form. So that's, uh, that's all, but I will teach you how to do this process. You go to your MailChimp, go to your list. I'm clicking the sophisticated one. Okay, so you have your list here and you need to click in sign up forms. Yep. If you click in general form, you can design your form here. Yep. So if you want to change anything, you can just do it. If you want to change the banner, you can here, it, says, it will say add or remove or add image. So you just click in there, like for example, use image. And you can use any image from your uh, uh, files. So another thing that you, you can do is um, click in design it. You can change the background of the form, like this color in here. The body, the body of is this one. So you can change this color as well form. So the form, as you can see here, you have buttons, buttons hover, field labels, field text. So buttons, you can change the color of the buttons, but these are the colors of my brand, so I will leave it like that. Buttons hover, the background and the text color. So I just change it, can you see? The background is lighter and the, the font is like this mustard yellow that I have. 
Okay, so fill labels. The fill labels are these ones, and you can change the color, the font, and the size. Yep, yeah? in here. Then if you want to change just this, you can just edit. Yep, yeah? and you can just add the text that you want to add there. When you finish, just save your, uh, your form, and that's all for now. So if you want to add the link for the form, you just need to copy this link here. So in my uh, quiz, you have these four images, and they are linked to this URL here. OK? So that's the first part. So the second part, it's um, we need to follow the process of the forms. So just click in this drop down menu and you will go um, to, to confirmation email. So the confirmation email is this one. Please confirm subscription. And if you go to my email, OK, it's this one here. Yes, subscribe me to this list. Yeah. So when you click in this list, in yes, subscribe me to this list, it will take you to this page. So if you are doing Facebook advertising, so I recommend you to do this. So you just take this URL, go back to your MailChimp account, and uh, click in confirmation thank you page so you just come here and instead of people having a look at this they will go to this page so people won't see this they will go directly to this page so and the final email is the welcome email so final welcome email and this one, like I said, you can just change, add um, images, whatever you want. So if you click in edit, just add here all the information that you want, the images and the links that you want. So if people click in download, let me go to my uh, here, to my email. OK, so if you click in download, it will take you to the PDF. Yep. So this is the style guide. This is my PDF, and it is hold into um, it is hold here in a uh, Mailchimp. So and if you want fill fill out the form, so you just click and go to fill out the form. So you can add here whatever whatever you want, like images, text, and all that. So just that's the process uh, for the forms, you know, like this, this would be the process. If you want to add the, like the form into a website, just go back to the sign up forms and click here in embed forms and you just need to click all this text, like the code, copy the code and paste it in the code section of your website. And you will see exactly the same form. So I think that covers uh, most of the forms uh, section. But you know, like if you have any questions or you need any help, just let me know. Also, um, for example, there are some plugins. If you just give me one more second. Um, so I can uh, show you, because when you land into my website, you can see a pop-up. Um, OK, you can see an, a pop-up plugin that says download here the blah, blah, blah. So that's a uh, it's a uh, the pop-up ally ally sorry uh what is it ah uh -huh. pop-up ally plugin so let's display settings because i want to show you 
the pop-up has um, a form so that you need to fill in, but that form needs to be connected to a MailChimp form so to show up because if not, it's not going to work. So if you go to style settings, okay, this is more or less what you will see when the pop-up shows up. It, it will be something like that, not exactly like that, but something like that. So, um, what is it? Okay, here, sign up form HTML. So here is where you are going to uh, copy and paste the code for the form. So, and when you do that, it will link to this form here. So everything will be attached to your MailChimp. I really hope this ha you have found this tutorial helpful. And if, like I say, if you have any questions, just let me know. And uh, I'm here to help you. So have a super lovely day and see you in my next tutorial. Bye.